Welcome back, everybody. We are ready now to take on the Helmosaur King. It's got this mask that defends it from damage. It's got its tail, which when you see it swing faster, that means it's about to uh, swipe down. If you stand directly in front of him, you're safe. You have to break off his mask at first, which can be done with the mallet or your bombs um i'm surprised he hasn't used his fireballs at all yet there it is i just killed him never mind all right guys you missed his fireball attack because i'm too cool for that but he'll spit out a fireball and then the fireball will like break up and do three smaller fireballs basically um, I'm trying to, it's hard to explain it, it's easier to see, but it'll shoot out a fireball out of his mouth, it'll go down, stop, and then split out like a triangle, basically. And then I think once you break off his mask, those smaller fireballs might also split off, but I do not think so. So the maidens are what's in these crystals that I'm looking for. <clears throat> And that was the first dungeon of the Dark World. I'm going to uh, go grab the flippers, um, a few specific upgrades also. And then I will probably take a break for now. Because all the parts up to now I've shot in one sitting. That's like four, five, six dungeons maybe. Depending on what you consider to be a dungeon. So, let's do that real quick. Try to remember where it is. Because I need the flippers for the next dungeon. I think a landmine. Because I got hit by a landmine earlier, but it wasn't like there long enough to see it. Uh... I could have sworn a landmine normally spawns under one of those bushes. Uh, never mind then, guys. So, here's where the mushroom gets used. Never mind, it's in here. Out here. Give it to her. Leave and come back. I don't know if you can walk into the building or not. No, you have to walk all the way over here. Or not. Oh wait, no, I feel stupid now. You get it, not by talking to her, but going in here. That was it. The magic powder, it's been used in other games. Instead of, like, in um, Link's Awakening for the Game Boy, it had, like, a limited quantity, and if you ran out, you'd have to get more. It could drop, or if you grabbed another mushroom, you could get more. And this, though, it just uses uh, your magic. So the flippers are up this way. And I guess now that I have the mallet, I can also get an upgrade to my magic. I'll see if I can't cram all of this into one episode. I think I'm only like five minutes into this episode. So you have to navigate this like water maze to get the flippers. I think I'm already going the wrong way. Yeah. It's been, I guess it's been a long time since I played this. Because normally I could go through this entire game with like nothing on me. Yeah, falling in water hurts without the flippers. This is shallow water that I'm walking on, but there's the deeper water. Down this way. Up this way. Nope, it was down. Bye. 
Down's an immediate dead end. More down. Uh, these are the Zoras of the game. They're not civil. Like they might be in Majora's Mask. Or Hakurei Time. Giant Zora. I want the flippers for 500 rupees. The flippers don't have to be equipped or passive. Fall in the water, they got your back. Jump down waterfalls like a boss. There's a piece of heart out here, I think. Yeah, right up here. Bam. That's three fourths. I'm short one. Another waterfall. And then now that I do have the flippers and I can swim and whatnot, there's this waterfall up here. Seems inconspicuous. You can swim into it. Mysterious pond. Do I want to throw something into the pond? Uh, let's throw in the boomerang. Why not? If you say yes that you did drop it, she upgrades the boomerang to the magical boomerang. It's got longer range and it flies faster. What else should I throw in? How about our shield? I did. That's the red shield. It'll block fireballs like from Zora's. And then now that's the only two upgradable pieces of equipment. But you can also, if you, uh, Throw in an empty bottle. She will give you a free green potion, which you can use for full MP. Now, what else was I going to do? There was something else I wanted to upgrade. I forget what it was. I'm just going to jump into this waterfall down here. Water whirlpool. That was my shield working, even though I was swimming. I know there's something else I wanted to upgrade. <clears throat> well, now that I do have the flippers, I know that I can, uh, if I go up there, that thing that was just still left to me, you can, uh, pay rupees into a fountain for good luck, and every 100 you get in, I think it is 100, a fairy will come out, and, uh, you can choose to upgrade your bomb bag or your, uh, arrows to increase the capacity on them this dude gives me that I just know there was something else I was gonna do now but I can't remember what it is oh I know my magic meter that's right thanks for reminding me me uh, I think I'm at around the 10 minute mark now so I should have time to spare the, the, the limit's 15, I assume. I know that if you have been a YouTube member for long enough, it's unlimited, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. But this series will be the first thing I even upload to YouTube, so... I doubt I qualify for that. So, this magic meter upgrade that I'm talking about is a one-time deal. Like, you can't get multiple upgrades to your magic meter, but you can get one. But it's it doesn't increase the length of your magic meter. Technically, it reduces the amount of magic you use when you use items. To be specific, it cuts it down by half. So, it's like doubling the length of your magic and you do so by hammering down that, leaping into here, immediately locking yourself out like a moron, going back out, 
try this again. Take the right door away. Magic powder brings out the demon. He's angry because he woke you up, so he's going to get his revenge on you. Now my magic power will drop by one half. What it means is that it costs half the magic to use it. In um, Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. I know I keep on referencing that, but that's because they're pretty similar. There's another demon just like that, but he actually increases the capacity of your magic powder. Alright, so in this episode, we accomplished quite a bit. We beat the Helmosaur King, got the first Crystal Maiden, um, got the Red Shield, the Magic Boomerang, the Flippers, another Jar, that Magic Upgrade. So we did a good job. Um, I think we're done for now. So next time we will go on to the second dungeon. See you guys later. Ike signing out.